Hello, this is going to be a part two of the previous video that I just did on how to add new users into uh, Prime Collaboration here. Um, you know, after we got done adding a new user, let's say that user now wanted to have a couple more services here. Maybe they wanted Cisco Jabber on their desktop, or maybe they wanted Cisco Jabber on their iPhone. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to actually add those users into the system here. So if we go up to the top here, we're going to go find our, our user again. Um, so we go down, go under deploy here. And we're going to go find D. Hogan, the user we just created. Click on him. And in here, you can see the services that we created for the him in the last tutorial that I did. Uh, so you can see his 8945 right here. You can see the line that's associated with him at 6121. You can also see his voice mailbox in here. Uh, the line is going to be very important, so make sure uh, before you go on to the next step, you write down that, that uh, Dave Hogan's line is 6121 because you'll need to know that, that piece of information in the following steps. So let's go ahead and we'll add in a Jabber endpoint for this guy. We're just going to go ahead and hit new services on the left side here. And again, this new phone, this new device is going to be in the New York location. Um, and here's where we're going to select endpoint service and that's going to add a new endpoint which is going to be Jabber and we're going to add a line to Jabber. Um, in the last video we added the enhanced endpoint service because we needed the endpoint, the line, and we also need the voicemail box, so that's why we selected that. But for this one, he already has a voicemail box, so we're just going to select uh, the endpoint and a line we're going to create. So we'll continue on that. And now we have to pick which type of endpoint we want to create for this guy. Um, I'm just going to go through one here, but if you guys want to create multiple, just come back in, hit new service, and then you can just go one at a time and create create des the Jabber for desktop or Jabber for Android, you know, whatever one you guys want. Uh, to start off, we'll just do Jabber for iPhone, make things easy. And you click it here, you'll see the picture of the iPhone come up. Again, you're going to want to select your, your device, your service templates here. Uh, it's very important, make sure you select the service templates on every page. And for device name, um, we're going to want to do TCT. That's going to stand for Tin Can Touch. That's the way that communication manager and the system recognizes uh, that, that particular iPhone. Um, and then we're going to follow that with the user's name here, his ID. So D H O G A N. Um, and that should all be in caps as well as best practice from Cisco. And we're going to hit continue on this. And we need to assign a line to this guy, to this endpoint here that we just created. So we're going to hit that line where it says not assigned there. And this is where we need to make sure we know that extension, because we're not going to do an auto assign here. We're going to actually do a choose line, because we don't want him to have two different lines on two different devices. We want to make sure when someone calls Dave's extension, 6121, both clients ring and he can pick up wherever he wants to. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select choose a line. Again, select your, your service template. It's going to auto-populate a lot of this information for you so you don't have to fill it in. And I'm going to go ahead and do 6121 as his extension. Click off of it. And you'll see here that it comes up. And in fact, it is a shared line because it's going to be shared between all his devices. And we're going to go ahead and click Continue. And again, go ahead and take a look at all the information before it gets provisioned here. And if you're satisfied with it, just click Confirm. There's your order number, 119. Click OK here. And again, we can watch this thing get built out. Just hit Refresh a couple times. You'll start seeing the endpoint get built out. You'll start seeing the line there. And it looks like it went pretty quick here. So, yep, you can see it's actually completed on the left side. And that's it. If you want to go back in and maybe add Jabber for desktop or Jabber for his iPad, um, just go back in here, new service, endpoint service again, um, walk through the couple steps, and you should have it all built out for him in a couple of minutes here. So thanks a lot, guys.